All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Easton Bennett. I'm a filmmaker, creative. I run a video production company here in my hometown in North Dakota. And this channel is all about filmmaking and teaching you guys the business knowledge that I've picked up over the time that I've been running my business and creating films. Now, when I just started filmmaking, I knew nothing about what I was doing. And I used to search the internet and I used to watch YouTube videos about how to organize your files, how to edit, how to shoot videos. And one thing that never really sat well with me was how a lot of these tutorials were showing how they organize footage. Now, don't get me wrong. A lot of people might not be as OCD as me, but I needed to come up with a system that allowed me to keep my files exactly the same for every single project. And that's what I want to share with you guys today is how I organize my files in Final Cut Pro 10. Now the importance of having the same continuity over every single different project is that you'll always know where things are and you'll never be confused or lost. And it just adds that speed to editing your videos and knowing that every single time you edit and every single time you try to find a file, it's gonna be right where you left it or right where you put it. And that's just a peace of mind for me in the back of my head. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today. Let's hop into the computer right away and get going on the best way to organize your files for Final Cut Pro. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you're going to use the same system I do is create a new folder for whatever project that is. So we're going to create this folder and call it example video enter. So then we're going to go inside of this folder. And the first thing I do when I'm going inside of this folder is I create the same six or seven, depending on if there's behind the scenes, I create the same six or seven folders in every single project, whether it's YouTube, client work, Instagram stories, whatever it is it's the same exact setup so the first folder i do is one underscore project files okay easy as that then i'm gonna go two underscore can't spell footage then i'm gonna go three underscore assets then i'm gonna go four underscore music slash sound effects and then i'm gonna go five underscore exports six underscore stills, seven underscore BTS. So that's behind the scenes. So now that you have all these seven folders, you can hit clean up by name and they'll clean up for you. I personally like using this layout for mac os so i can see what's on the left if i need to click back to anything but these are the first seven folders that i put in every single project now what i actually do to save some time even for this is i'll create a folder called template and then i'll take all of these copy them and i'll paste it into template and then I'll just leave this template folder in on my desktop or in a hard drive. And every single time I start a new project, I can go in here, select all of these, and then copy and paste into whatever it might be. Three percent, people. Three percent. Get it in there. Oh, saved by the bell. There's no bell, but saved by the power cord. So I just have those seven folders for every single project. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go into your footage folder. And what I like to do is if I'm using multiple cameras or multiple angles, I'll go in here and do one underscore camera A, and that is EOS R. Okay, if there's another camera, I'll go two underscore camera B, Canon 80D. Then I'll go three underscore camera C, maybe this one's iPhone footage. So we'll put iPhone. Then maybe we got drone. So we'll go four underscore camera D, and then we'll go Mavic 2 Pro. I think that's a drone, isn't it? And then maybe we have a zoom track for audio, just like we're recording here. So we'll go five underscore audio zoom H six. So now we have all five of these. A lot of the times if I'm doing just YouTube video stuff, I won't label the cameras just because it's kind of run and gun. But for bigger projects like documentaries and interviews and corporate work, this is exactly what I'm gonna do. And you'll find out later when we actually hop into Final Cut. Now, the next thing you're gonna do is open your 
SD card or wherever you're getting your footage from. Before we were shooting this YouTube video, I shot a little pre-intro vlog part of it. So we'll just use that footage for example. There's not too many clips, but uh, let's say this here, these four are EOS R, these next two are Canon ADD footage, and then the next three are iPhone footage, and then the last one, let's say, is drone footage. And we'll just leave this audio track off. So you're gonna wanna import those specific videos from whatever memory card, whatever camera might be, into the specific folders. All right, so once all your footage is in there, we can move on to the next step, which is creating the Final Cut project. So we're gonna open Final Cut Pro, and you can do this with other software too. You don't need Final Cut, but this is just how I do it for Final Cut because that's what I use. If you use Premiere or whatever, you can do it with that too. I'm gonna hit new. We're gonna call this, we're gonna call this example. Can't spell again, example video. And we're gonna put that in the project files folder of the example video folder we put on our desktop. We're gonna hit save, and then it's going to pop here on the left side. Now the next step you're gonna to wanna to do is create the same exact folders inside of Final Cut. Now I'm sure you can just hit import and click all the folders, but I like to do it manually. So you're gonna hit option N to create a new folder. We're gonna do project files. And then we're gonna do two footage, three assets, four underscore music. And then I don't put exports because we're not gonna be importing anything into the exports folder. So I just do those four. And then I'll come in here and I'll delete the date folder that automatically shows up. And I'll delete the smart collections. And now we have our four folders inside of here. If you wanna take this a step further, which I have done for say a podcast, we do the DAC Jam podcast called DAC World. What we do for that is we have the full episode exported, we have each segment and then some social clips. So what I would do for that is I would go into the project files and if you just wanna leave it at this and create a new project and call it, we'll call this one example video two, example video. That's gonna go right into your project files folder and you got it right here. So if you wanna click on that, it would go here. But if you're doing a bigger work where you need to export multiple different files, then maybe you would create a keyword collection, which I have to shortcut command K, and then you would rename this to one underscore full episode or whatever you'd wanna name it. And then maybe you'd create another one that would go two underscore segments. So segments of the full episode, like we do for the podcast. And then you do another one that's maybe social clips. That's just a generic, you can put as many as you want there, but I like to do it where it's one, two, three, four, and I like to label them so then they don't go by alphabetical order. So if you do it number order, then every single time you create it, it's going to be in the same spot and you'll get used to that and you'll be able to click it much faster. It doesn't sound like it's saving that much time, but in the long run, the more used to it you get, the easier it will be. So after I have all the project files in here, let's say we have, this one will go example video one. We'll create another project example. I cannot spell or type example video two. And then maybe we'll go example video three. And we're these are all gonna be full episodes. So we'll drag those and we'll put them in full episodes. And then maybe we're gonna do segment one and segment two. There will only be two segments. We'll put these in segment keyword collection, and then maybe there's gonna be only one social clip video. So we'll put social clip, then drag that one into the social clips keyword collection. So now, whenever you're trying to find a certain project that you're working on, you can click where it's at. So if you know it's a segment, click segments, segment two, it pulls up the timeline, okay? So easy as that, keeps it simple, keeps it clean, and it's way more organized than just throwing it in there. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your footage, Command I for import, and you're going to click here into footage, and I like to just select all of these and hit footage, import, and then that's gonna import all of the footage. Now, what I like about this is it automatically syncs the same exact folders that you had on your desktop folder into the final cut folders. So here we have camera A, camera B, camera C, and camera D, which is the drone footage, and they're already segmented out. So if you put it in the desktop folder, it's going to be the same exact thing in the final cut folder. So if you're looking for the drone footage, you click here. Obviously this isn't drone footage, but throw that in there. Maybe you need some EOS R footage and you need the first three, and you can throw those in the timeline. It just syncs super nice where it's the same exact thing in final cut as it is in your folder. After that, you could import any assets you had. I don't have any assets, but this would be things like pictures that 
are going in there, any graphics, maybe you have an animation or an end screen or something. This is where you'd import all those miscellaneous assets that you're gonna need on top of the footage. Maybe it's a client logo. I don't have any, so I'm not gonna import anything. After that, you would import your music. One thing that I like to do is create a keyword collection for one music and then two underscore sound effects. So then I have these that I can click between in case I wanna quickly get to my music or quickly get to a sound effect. So that's basically the extent of my file organization system. It's pretty simple and it goes a long way even though you might not notice it, but having the same folders inside of Final Cut as you do on your desktop folder or wherever you're keeping your client project, but it's gonna make things way better. So if you can implement this number system into your projects and just use that that over and over for whatever project it might be, things are gonna get so much quicker for you when it comes to importing footage and organizing footage. That's all I have for organizing my files and what I think is the absolute best way to do it is just using that number system. So if you can implement something into your workflow on organizing your files through numbers, or maybe it's alphabetical, maybe you do A, B, C, D, E. I prefer the number system, but ever since I implemented that into my workflow, I've been way more productive in getting things done and I don't have to sit and search through things. Hopefully you like this. If it sucked, I'm sorry that I made you sit through this. I didn't make you sit through it. You decided to watch how much it sucked, but if it was good, hopefully you enjoyed it. That's all I got for you guys. We will see you next week. Hit that big ass red button on the bottom. It's not even that big, but it does say subscribe on it. So uh, hit that button if you wanna see more of these videos, or if you just wanna watch more of these videos, just go to my page. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next week. Why am I pointing at you? We'll see you. We'll see you next week.